Hi, this is Maria from Education Elements. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the basic free features of Screencastify, which is a program that lets you record your screen and your voice over the top. Let's get started. So what is Screencastify? Screencastify is a free program that lets you record your screen and add your voice over the top of it, just like I'm doing now. It's a Google Chrome add-on, which means that it will only work with Google Chrome. It will not work with Microsoft Edge or Firefox or Internet Explorer. You have to be using Chrome. And thirdly, you need another program to host and share. Because Screencastify is a Google program, it shares most easily with Google Classroom. In fact, it allows you to just share the video directly to your Google Classroom. But there's ways to share the link on other platforms as well. To use Screencastify for the first time, you want to open Google Chrome and go to www.screencastify.com. Then you'll click the blue Add to Chrome button to install the add-on. I'll demonstrate how to install the add-on and use the features step by step. To start, I'm going to go to www.screencastify.com and then click the blue Add to Chrome button. I am using a Google Chrome browser. Remember, this will not work in another browser. Click that button. It will take you to the extensions, the Chrome Web Store, which is where you can get all of the Chrome extensions. And I'm going to click the blue Add to Chrome button. You're going to get a pop up that asks you, Do you want to install? Yes, you want to add. I'm going to check some stuff. Mine is downloading. All right. Screencastify has been installed, and you'll know because you can see the pink icon in the top right hand corner of your screen, which is the Screencastify screen video recorder. Now let's learn how to use the Screencastify features. So I'm on khanacademy.org. I used to teach middle school math, so I use this website all the time. And let's say I wanted to record my screen so that I could share this example with my students. To start, get to the page that you want, and then you'll click on the pink Screencastify icon in the upper right hand corner. And this will launch Screencastify. Ah, so the first time that you use it, you're going to have to set it up and link it to your Google account. So click sign in with Google. This will walk you through the sign in process. You do want to enable your camera, your microphone, and the drawing and annotation tools. And then allow permission. Great, we're ready to start recording. So now, I can go to the page that I want to record, which was my Khan Academy page. And again, I'm going to hit the pink Screencastify button. This should launch the recorder. Now you can see that there are a few options for how I can record. I can share my browser tab, which is just the tab that you're looking at right now. So if I wanted to go to another tab in my browser, I would have to stop the recording and start it again. You could share your whole desktop or just your webcam, which would be just your face. I'm going to share my whole desktop just because it's easier to navigate between tabs if you do it that way. To start, you just hit the blue record button. It wants to know what do I want to share. I want to share this screen. There's my countdown. All right, so now Screencastify is recording me in real time. So I'm going to show you a few of the basic Screencastify features. In the lower left corner of your screen are all of the basic features. So there's a pause recording button, your mouse, a pen, an eraser, and I think this clears it. So one of the features that I really like about Screencastify is the pen feature. So this comes built in 
you click the pen, you can pick your color, and then you can actually annotate over anything that you are sharing on your screen. So this could be a PowerPoint um, or a document. It doesn't have to be something that normally you write on. If you make a mistake, you can choose your eraser and erase what you wrote. Ah, uh, the X hides the tools, it does not clear. And your mouse pointer, you have a few different options for how the mouse appears in the video. I'm just gonna leave it as highlights, clicks. And that's it. Once you are done recording your video, you can hit the pause button, and then you can hit the end recording button, which is the little square. So we'll hit that. It will open up a new tab and it will show you your video. So it does give you the option to do a tour. I'm not going to do that tour, but you could. And here's my video. So I have some options that I can use to trim the basic video screen. Or save your edited video. And then once you're done, so once I am happy, I will save that trim. Yes, I want to trim. It will edit it for you. And then once you're happy with your video, you have a few options for how to share it. You could copy a shareable link. This video lives inside of your Google Drive, so you can copy a link to the file and send it to someone else. You can also share directly to Google Classroom. You could publish it to YouTube, or you could download the video. Um, that's it. Those are all of the free Screencastify features. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you and let us know how you use Screencastify to share instruction with your students.